Hello guys, Mike here at AEPL. I hope you're doing very well. Thank you for checking in. Um, anyone who has been following my recent videos will notice is some things mentioned about podcasts. And if you look down the page, you'll see that I've linked both the full podcasts and the Aurorcast Clips podcasts as playlists. Yes, I've started a podcast. So I had a budget of around a thousand pounds. Really, this started during the lockdown um, in terms of me just basically calling people up on Zoom, Skype, recording my audio in my end, recording their video for OBS. Um, and kind of interviewing them and talking to them. If you want to hear more about why I started it, check out episode 12, which has just come out on the Aurora Eclipse Productions Limited YouTube page. You should see the links. I believe it's this side. It could be that side. I think. It's probably that side because I think it's that side, which means it's that side. One of the sides. You'll see the featured channels. So it's evolved. Um, and now I want to get people into the studio and I want to get them sitting here with me and I want to be able to go to their place perhaps or set up in a different part of the country. So I went and bought a whole bunch of gear. And this is kind of the first video that's going to document that gear. So the idea is that um, past this video, I'm going to literally do a little bit of a clip showing you what I bought, round about how much each item was off the top of my head because I may be out here and there. Then I'm going to do a bit more of a full breakdown per item. So I'll be unboxing each bit of kit, talking you through why I chose to buy that piece of kit and the research that I did, and kind of setting it up and giving you a little bit of a kind of like hands-on, I suppose, with that piece of equipment. Um, I just thought that would be useful because I did spend a lot of time looking into it, and some of the gear I bought was perhaps against recommendation. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll go into that in the next part of this video. What's gonna basically happen is um, behind me, this kind of white wall, this is the back end of my studio. I've currently put the sofa down because um, it is a sofa bed if anyone happens to stay, um, just so I could do this video. But basically when that sofa's up, that's where I'm hoping to do the podcast. Um, and I have ordered some kind of wall drapes, if you like, that are gonna kind of like cover this whole back area behind me, just so we can get a little bit more of a cinematic uh, approach to the podcast and you're not just gonna be looking at two people against a white wall um so yeah that's coming um so i think the next videos you'll see will be me going through the individual components again explaining why i bought them then i'm going to do a little bit of a setup in my front room with uh, the vocalist and founder of the black metal band iceni rothgar we're going to be having a chat hopefully next week um and then uh, i'll do another video showing you the setup here so next part of this video looking at the gear Next video is going through each individual thing that I've bought and explaining why, um, alternatives, things like that, costs, etc, etc, demoing microphones, all that good stuff's coming your way. Then you'll have a demonstration of the live podcast, I suppose, that I'm going to be setting up in my front room. Then you'll get the videos once I've completed the setup in this room, which should be what the podcast will be moving forward when I am at home. Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you a very, very quick overview of the gear that I have bought. Um, and then obviously in the follow-up videos, um, I will be unboxing them and breaking them down as I have explained. So I went with the Zoom H6 Handy Recorder. Um, Zoom have got a pretty good name across the board. Um, one of my colleagues has used this in a professional capacity and he rated it very highly for me. Um, I checked it out online and decided that basically this would give me the opportunity to record anywhere, um, which is what I wanted for the podcast. I can travel to people's homes or just be free and not have to worry about a laptop, things like that. Um, that was about 320 pounds, maybe 325. Then I got a 16 gig, um, what do they call them? Like extreme pro SanDisk memory card, um, just so that I can record um, in high quality on all the channels without getting any sort of lag. Um, headphones wise, these are about 45 pounds each. These are the Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs. Again, not the most expensive headphones in the world, but they are comfortable. And if you're talking to someone for sort of, you know, like two, two and a half hours, you want people to be comfy, to be able to adjust the headphones to their specifications and to not kind of be, you know, uncomfortable basically um, during the chat. Um, I went for the Rode Procaster. This is a little bit of a Rode kind of, uh, you know, showcase here, guys. I, I promise I'm not being sponsored by Rode. Um, it seems to me that Rode perhaps had a little bit of a bad name in terms of studio application many years ago. 
Um, that is not necessarily a personal opinion of mine. I mean, what you're listening to now is a Rode NGT2, NGT2 shotgun mic, um, which I've used for many, many years um, for my YouTube channel and for these types of videos, and I've never really had a problem with it. Um, I think just in the studio, perhaps for recording uh, instruments, maybe they had like a, not, they weren't the sort of a preferable mic um, uh, historically. Um, and it has to be said, I haven't really seen them in a studio application, but I think they absolutely smash it for um, the podcast. So I went with the Rode Procaster microphone. I got two of them. And then I added the uh, PSM-1 shock mounts and I got the PSA-1 studio arms. Um, if anyone saw the AuroraCast episode 12, you will see that basically um, my arm broke when I put these Procaster mics on them. The old arm I used to have in my old videos is just not strong enough to um, to, to hold up uh, the job. But yeah, we went for the Rode Procaster. They're around about 155, 165 uh, per microphone. Then we got the PSM shock mounts. Again, about 30, 35 pounds I paid each. And then these bad boys, the studio arms, um, were relatively expensive. I got a deal, I think I paid 92 pounds each um, on Amazon um, to get them delivered to me. Then we're gonna be using this bad boy. This is literally a cheap, this is about 20 quid. It's just a Behringer um, four channel headphone mixer. So you just got your input in, which will come from the Zoom. And then I can mix four headphones at different levels so that everybody can hear basically what's going on. You are gonna need one of those guys if you are doing a podcast with more than one person um, or some sort of splitter um, in some capacity. Um, then I've just got a bunch of cables. These are basically extenders for headphones. Um, to be honest with you, I did have these prior. I didn't buy these for the podcast, um, but they're literally just so that I can extend the headphones should I need to. What I did buy was some high quality. This is from a German brand. Um, I went down to Guitar Guitar in Epsom. Uh, shout out to Guitar Guitar there. So this, these are uh, Colts professional microphone cables. They were quite expensive. They were about £25 each. Um, but they are basically going to keep the noise down as much as possible. What I would say, I'll go into more of this in the video when I talk about the Procasters. They do need a hell of a lot of gain. Um, a bit like the Shaw um, SM7B. Um, and while that's no problem if you're in a treated room, um, if you are gaining it quite high and then you've got traffic outside or, you know, um, if you've got people, you know, if you're living with people, say, or who are sort of walking about, making tea, whatever else, um, it's probably going to pick up parts of that, um, despite it being, um, it rejects a hell of a lot of sound from the back. If you are near a door or something like that, the more you're gaining it, the more noise you're putting into the room. And I would say that from the tests I did, um, based in the heat wave we've had in the UK, when I had to have everything shut and the fans kind of off, um, it was nice and quiet, but when I wanted my fan on with the high gain, it was picking it up. So, um, yeah, the less noise as possible through the cables, and I am going to be looking to add um, like a cloud lifter um, of some, some sort, just to add a little bit more uh, gain to the microphone. So um, yeah, that's that's basically the kit that I got, um, and uh, I will be going through each individual item separately. We'll do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, I have taken these microphones out of the box, but um, that's not a problem. Um, I'll show you kind of how they came prepared, and then I'll do a little bit of an overview on each item and explain why I bought them. If you guys have any questions about this, now is the time. Please do put them in the comments box below. I would imagine the following videos will start coming as of kind of Saturday time, um, which is in two days. So uh, yeah, any questions guys, uh, please do give me a shout. Okay guys, now we're looking at the other side of the room, just so you got a view that's a little bit more familiar. I haven't changed my lighting, so it's probably a bit over bleached, but who cares? Um, so I hope that was useful to you guys. Please do comment, like let me know why, you know, if you've got a specific question about this gear, why I chose it, let me know in this video and I'll answer it in the follow-up video that I do. Um, it took me quite a long time to figure out what I thought was appropriate. Um, and I think I've made the right choice. I'm really happy with everything so far. Um, so yeah, ask a question and I'll answer for you. Please do go and subscribe to the Aurora Clips Productions YouTube. Subscribe to the Aurora Cl uh, Cast Clips. Um, there's a Facebook group, all this stuff I'll link below. Um, get involved guys um, with the podcast. I hope you will enjoy the content. Thanks very much.